Hello, everyone. Welcome to the session Advancing Interactive Intelligence. My name is Mohammed Dakar. I head up the global MCU business development ecosystem for Renaissance Electronics. Along with me, I have my colleague Mani Singh. He heads up the microprocessor and marketing. Let me kick off with the learning objectives, what you expect to achieve and learn in this session. So first of all, we'll focus on how to simplify and realize in intelligent human to machine communication, achieve robust end-to-end -end security and artificial intelligence design, how to create advanced gesture control, voice enable and graphic solutions. And while doing so, how, how, we, how we make sure that we enable sustainable future. There are four mega trends that's emerging. First of all, the, the communication between human to machine and machine to machines are increasing. We've got to make sure that these, these communication is intuitive and human-like. In addition to that, we are seeing abundance of data that's being shared and communicated between devices that needs to be analyzed. and There has to be a decision that's made in a timely manner. With the ever-increasing communication and connectivity, there's a, there's a raising concern of security. We've got to make sure our devices are secure in terms of the IP and the data that's being shared. While doing so, we've got to have, we have a social responsibility, making sure the devices that we're developing are kinder to the environment. Let me change gears and talk about some of the digital drivers that are driving the development of smarter electronics. First of all, I'm going to focus on how do we safely communicate. First thing that, that we can talk about is the intelligent control in terms of capacitive touch. The capacitive touch technology is becoming very elegant and you're able to design very elegant and intuitive products using glass or metal. You can conceal the design in, in, the, in these surfaces, which has less moving part. Thanks to the intelligent capacitive touch technology, you can create smart 2D, 3D gesture control designs reducing the, the need to touch the surfaces physically. And that works in all environment, whether the interference is noise, um, water, or anything else. The next in line is the voice recognition. There's a huge uh, demand now for, for us to control the devices using our voice. This is moving from the consumer to the industrial space. We really want to control the IoT devices with our voice commands. And the interactive thing that's happening is with the voice that you're able to have the wake words. That means that you don't have to have a cloud connection on all the time to be able to make faster decision making and interact with the, with the devices without touching them. And in addition, there are technologies and ways to adopt different accents and languages around the world. In addition to that, the the smartphone has really raised the bar in terms of how we want the displays and the, and the graphics to look like. Even the industrial displays now need to look like more like a consumer displays. This is, this is achieved thanks to having hardware acceleration to support 2D, 3D graphics, and, and thanks to a lot of the software in terms of graphical user interface frameworks to be able to create more, more intuitive designs and support high resolution outputs. In our, in our world, we're seeing an integration of automated vision and artificial intelligence. There's a need to push more intelligence to the edge and the endpoint, which may have less capability and may have some constraints in terms of low power, and that needs to be taken care of. And the real value add is to be able to give the empowerment to the edge to be able to make the decisions on the fly, and for customers and vendors to be able to offer additional services and could create more revenue streams for, uh, for their companies. I'm really pleased to say that at Renesis Electronics, we have advanced user interface solutions for a wide range of applications. Starting with touch, we have a very robust technology which, which we're able to support mutual self and multi-touch capabilities, which really is resilient to high noise uh, immunity, can work in different rugged environments, Thanks to this technology as well, we're able to create a very uh, efficient 2D, 3D gesture control, so you don't have to touch the surfaces anymore. In addition to that, we have solutions to, to provide a very efficient voice recognition support across a wide range of applications and languages. And this can be done either having a local voice recognition 
or working through the working through a cloud interface and also to apply deep neural network support to be able to provide more intelligent solution in addition with thanks to our high end processing areas we're able to provide high performance 2d 3d acceleration provide really high end intuitive graphical user interf interface solutions and finally we do cover and provide the vision and ai and providing solution where you will see in terms of fast image and video processing. You learn more of that in the next session of this, uh, this material. Let me change gear now and talk about our uh, solution, which is based on our RZ uh, processors, which is providing very advanced graphics capability. Um, we're able to really provide up to 4K definition. And this is ideal for a high, a high range of applications in terms of whether you're doing some surveillance applications or it's some, some vision application on the factory floor or in the consumer applications. We're also able to provide a hardware acceleration to provide real-time uh, communication and performance for HMI displays, as well as we're providing lots of support and tools to be able to adopt open source frameworks like Qt, uh, Tess Guliani and there are a wide range of other frameworks that's available for us to support uh, in terms of these applications. Let me now talk about the, uh, the, the world in terms of sensing. The world around us is, is analog, right? And we need to take the analog input to then translate into understand what the world is saying. And every day in, in our lives, we are coming across lots of different smart sensing devices. And the sensors are everywhere, whether they're used to measure temperature, uh, you know, humidity or pressure, other elements around us. The key thing is we need to make sure how do we make the environment safe that we operate in, whether that environment is at homes or at factories. There are all sorts of harmful gases and odors around us, which needs to be eliminated to make sure we have a healthy environment. And I'm pleased to say at Renaissance Electronics, we have a, a very wide range of air quality sensors, which are providing excellent stability and sensitivity for different uh, application and environment, very fast response time. So you don't have to wait for the detection of any harmful gases and odors. And this can be factory calibrated for easy adoption. And uh, this, this, these uh, sensors can be deployed in a wide range of applications across industries, consumer and other applications. Let me now uh, hand over to my colleague, Manny, to take you through the artificial intelligence part of this presentation. Thank you, Mal. In order to proliferate embedded intelligence at scale, we believe there are a few prerequisites that must be satisfied. The first prerequisite is the algorithm efficiency. Our approach is to lower the barrier for adoption that is to use proven AI framework, automated workflows, and cloud-based machine learning platforms. Next, we improve not only the compute efficiency, but also power efficiency with our proprietary IP built around DRP AI hardware, DRP AI translator tool, and vision AI applications. A side benefit of this algorithm efficiency is that it accelerates the development, shortens the time to market, and reduces the total cost of ownership. Next prerequisite is the embedded AI and machine learning. Endpoint AI devices must strike a delicate balance between real-time AI performance needs and power efficiency needs, because often these devices have limited power, limited size, and limited battery. Intelligent and efficient AI inferencing leads to minimal amount of data transferred to endpoint gateways using unique peripherals and hardware accelerators. Third prerequisite is the data science. That is, collect only meaningful data and intelligently send curated anomalies to the cloud for detailed analysis. Moreover, we believe data science done right involves close collaboration between cloud tools and services and endpoint devices, essentially a closed loop between big data science on the cloud and efficient tuned model running on the endpoint devices. Last prerequisite is the in-field learning. That is, aggregate the data from the field and adjust, adopt, and converge in real time. Basically, you continuously train, tune, and deploy machine learning models through the loop I alluded to earlier. 
Now to implement AI on embedded devices, several system level challenges need to be addressed. First and most common challenge is how to implement edge AI with low power consumption. While cloud AI has the luxury of sufficient power, heat sinks, and active cooling, edge devices often have limited power, limited size, cost constraints, and challenging thermal environments to operate in. Take drones and robots, for example. They must operate in a thermally challenging environment with limited battery power. Second challenge is how do you deliver high AI performance to give real-time response for endpoint devices such as robots that are interacting with humans where fluid and natural human to machine interaction is expected. Any lag, longer inference time is unacceptable. Third challenging third challenge is the uh, flexibility and scalability aspect. One can use de dedicated hardware for AI processing um, and such technique fails to deliver the flexibility and st st scalability aspect. Since AI technology and neural network models are evolving at fast rate and becoming increasingly complex, these kind of dedicated AR, AI hardware runs the risk of becoming obsolete very quickly as new AI technology is adopted. To bring AI at scale to the embedded devices, Renesis has developed the DRP AI, stands for Dynamically Reconfigurable Processor for AI, as an AI accelerator with high speed inference, uh, low power consumption, and flexibility and scalability required for endpoint devices. The combination of our DRP AI hardware and DRP AI translator software gives superior power efficiency, very high AI performance, and gives the flexibility and scalability required. We aim to bring AI to masses, but do it in a socially responsible way. That's why we measure ourselves in terms of tops per watt in new metric. We believe raw tops number is irrelevant and doesn't capture the essence of AI in the embedded devices. Our DRPI technology solves all three major pain points discussed earlier for embedded AI. Let's look at the power efficiency benchmark results of DRP AI based product. Right hand side is the DRP AI based solution without a heatsink. Left hand side is a GPU solution with a heatsink. Important point here is that same neural network model, Tiny YOLO V2, is running on both solutions and doing the object recognition. The AI performance in frames per second is shown in the top right corner. GPU is giving about 40 frames per second in green, DRP AI is giving 42 frames per second in blue. The GPU solution consumes over 10 watt and surface temperature is 79 degrees Celsius, even with a heat sink, probably too hot to touch for human hand. Whereas DRPI solution consumes only 2.3 watt and surface temperature is merely 41 degrees Celsius. A side note, at higher ambient temperature, GPU will likely have to throttle AI performance lower than 40 frames per second DRPI, on the other hand, can probably sustain 42 frames per second performance at higher ambient temperature. The key point of this benchmark is to underline the importance of tops per watt metric that takes power efficiency into account because a raw tops number is not a very meaningful metric in this case. Finally, we believe that the superior power efficiency of DRPI technology is not only good for our business, but it is also good for the environment. Now I'll hand it back to Mo. Thank you, Manny. So I'm now going to take you through to the last part of this presentation and talk about security. So moving forward, um, when we talk about security, we, everybody actually knows security is an issue with the news highlights of data breaches and stolen information. But what's important is more device IoT devices need to come online. With as much data as these devices are collecting and storing about us, we need to protect that data. As a product developer, we also need to protect your development IP and uniqueness from being hacked, copied, and cloned. This is really important. Security needs to be at the forefront of your product design and development. It cannot be an afterthought. Venesis has a technology and tools to simplify the development of secure devices to the point that you don't even know you are developing a secure fashion and a secure device. Moving forward, we also need to think about our obligation to the environment. Next, we all have the obligation to develop products that are sustainable 
and don't have severe long-term impacts on our environment and society. We are committed to helping design semiconductor products in a sustainable fashion. We have a unique IP that extends from silicon all the way to embedded AI and the cloud to process data efficiently while using less power overall. We couple this digital uniqueness with that efficient analog sensors and power products to create tighter efficiency resulting in less bill of material. While COVID has had profound impact across the world, there's a huge opportunity that awaits us as for us to embrace new ways of interacting with digital services and devices. Moving forward, our future is now, and Renaissance has a technology as both market and innovation leader in semiconductor to help you develop world-class devices. We have a wide array of semiconductor devices that will create your development of next generation best in class devices. We have a microcontrollers, our, our RA microcontroller, which is a leading ARM product portfolio. We have an RZ, which is a microprocessor. We have an RL70, which is a very low power microcontroller, as well as our, our proprietary RX portfolio, coupled with a wide range of solutions and services that we offer. Finally, I'd like to invite you to empower your future with Venesis Electronics. We offer you a wide range of smart embedded electronics devices. Whether you're looking for smart sensor or signal conditioning devices or solutions for data movement, or you're looking for analog or mixed signal uh, products, as well as smart microcontroller microprocessors, we have the solution for you. As well as we are able to provide you with the local support so you can design your products quickly and achieve quicker revenue streams. At this stage, let me thank you for your time and attention.